Have you ever heard of tourists being discouraged from visiting a place because they saw terrible travel photography? Well, it's a real thing, and you could easily become a culprit. Watching this video is a good step in moving out of that department. Here are seven ultimate travel photography mistakes to avoid. Number seven, missing the timing. Have you ever heard of the golden hour? This is a popular term coined by photographers to describe the time around which the sun rises and sets. The effect of the golden hours is simply that, golden. In travel photography, timing is everything, and you want to make sure you are getting the right ones. As we go along, we will talk more about an important point that keeps you from getting those perfect moments and shots in time. But in the meantime, remember not to oversleep or retire too early if you don't want to regret missing the perfect shot in a location you spent your life savings traveling across the world to visit. Number 6. Lack of research If you are the kind of person whose preparation for a vacation is primarily on clothes and activities you will explore, then you might as well leave your camera at home. We could guarantee you that you will always miss out on the most outstanding shots in your journey if you didn't research the location and create a shot list ahead of time. Researching for your travel photography is in two forms, on-site research and off-site research. Off-site research is the information you gather about the location before you get there, while on-site research is the hands-on information you acquire on the grounds. Either way, you must fulfill this foundational truth as quoted by one expert. To be a travel photographer, you have to be the most informed tourist in town. Your research should cover such factors as weather conditions, visibility levels, local customs, and traditions, etc. Number 5. Lack of Perseverance Sometimes taking those incredible shots comes with more than lifting your travel photography camera to your eye and squeezing or tapping your finger on your photography device. More often than not, a little more intentionality and perseverance are required. One major mistake many tourists make is settling for the first image. They don't realize that many other people may have already taken a shot of the same spot a million times. Thus, their pictures get lost in the plethora of existing images. Some locations are picture perfect from a particular angle, lighting, timing, or inclusion. And more often than not, it takes some patience and perseverance to find it. The best part about this is that you will forever be proud and thankful for the wait when you do get that long-awaited shot. With this attitude, you will skip taking what we call the tourist shots and take those few golden ones. In travel photography, quality always matters above quantity. Number 4. Avoiding the locals Remember how we spoke about research and local customs earlier? This is where the locals become invaluable. Tourists and photographers who depend solely on their research and personal intuitiveness tend to miss out on crazy locations and spots that tourists may have never captured. With a smile and a breaking of the ice with one or two expressions of their local dialect, they can open you up to locations never before explored. This is where those peculiar shots will come from. Sometimes even better than the locations they show you are the shots you can take of them their families. With this, you can create great images with a real story and emotional connection. One photographer wrote, Some have even invited me over to dinner after showing me an awesome waterfall hidden in their backyard. Number 3. Too far away Let's start you off this point with a quote from Robert Coppa, a famous photographer. He is once quoted to have said, If your pictures aren't good enough, you aren't close enough. Would you agree? Let us know in the comment section. With the competition between phone cameras and zoom cameras, people have been compelled to put these features to the test at the expense of quality and more meaningful images. There will always be times when standing back and capturing a wide sea matters, but when you can get close, you should. More often than not, people refuse to get near because of fear or shyness. It would surprise you with a sharp change in quality if you mustered the courage to take those close-up shots against zooming in. Closer images build intimacy. Place the subject in the center of the shot and force a story out of it. Resorting to zoom or distant shots is a mistake that will rid you of such moments. There is another reason why people resort to zooming, and we will touch on it in a bit. Number 2. Not having fun. Don't be so engrossed in taking the perfect picture that you forget to have fun on your vacation. Capture those great moments, but remember to breathe them in as well. 
Number one, know your camera. A photographer's camera is an extension of his arm and the magnification of his eyes. Sometimes the difference between a tourist shot and an exceptional one is your knowledge and application of your photography device. Knowing your camera means familiarizing yourself with its settings. The benefit of this is that you are ever ready and quick to adjust. This gives you more confidence to approach people for quick but great close-up shots. On the other hand, you could resort to zooming in and out for distant images because of a lack of confidence. You can avoid the mistake of missing out on magical moments by practicing with your camera till you become familiar with it. You can watch this video on travel photography for more tips on taking great pictures as a beginner. Take care.